Hello everyone, and welcome back to Birthdays the Beginning, where we are looking over our beautiful new land. Look at all of these plants. There are grasses everywhere. Our trees are beginning to spread. We even have some happy fungus. We have two varieties of fungus now, actually, because there's another variety of fungus that really loves hot stuff hanging out way over here. All right, let's all right there. Oh, look, he's got some friends. All right. So the population of those guys is doing pretty well. And we recently got our, one of our very first fish. We have a little jawless fish right down here. Do you guys see him? Oh, he's so cute. He's got a little smiley face. Hang on. Let me. Oh, my gosh. Controlling this guy is so hard. All right. There we go. We've got a little smiley face fish. And we have very good news about the next of the projects that we're actually supposed to work on for our cube. We're actually working on the Androlithesis, or whatever it's called. We're just going to call it the Andri. We're working on the Andri right now. And what we need is just to have the Astrophis uh, having appeared, the smiley fish, basically, which we have already done. And then if you actually go into the library and look at the absolutely amazing tree of life, which I really love that you can do this now. Look at this. You can see the tree of life and like everything that you can actually evolve and like what it comes from, which is really cute. But what we are looking for now is going to be one of the animals that start evolving over here. So let me see if I can find him. We're trying to unlock further down the tree of life, this guy right here. And when you read about it, it says a small fish native to various sea habitats. This creature first appeared in the ocean when flora began to thrive on land. And friends, I don't know what you might say about what we have actually created, but I'd say flora is thriving. So let's go ahead and we're going to rest up here in our little cube view mode. I'm going to get my hit points back and we're gonna just let time pass for Whoa. Happy birthday! It's getting nice and lively around here! <gasps> Remember when I mentioned the first link of the food chain? Well, allow me to elaborate on that. Basically, strong predators feed on weak prey. It might sound cruel, but that's how all organisms are connected. Without prey organisms, predator organisms cannot survive. So there is a lot of life that's born just to be eaten. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but if the environment isn't maintained, the whole system falls apart. The food chain has a very deep connection to life. There may be fewer predators in total overall, but they require an abundance of prey to survive. So even in an ideal environment, if there isn't enough prey, a new species may not be birthed. That's enough lecturing for me. Right now, you should birth a seed like ant. What? Oh my gosh. I like how Navi is like, go, 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 go. We're like making life here. You can't linger. All right, so we actually have, oh, there we go. Is this a little fish? Did we get our little fish friend? <gasps> we got our little fish friend! The small fish native to various sea habitats. And he's the one who's actually going to appear now that we've got plenty of flora. Yes, and we have leveled up again. So we have a lot of hit points now. And so what does that do in our library? When we look at our tree, we're trying to, now we're trying to go ahead and unlock this guy, the Coelocanthus. This species of fish secured a habitat by, for itself by migrating to the deep sea. It preys on these guys, so we need to get their populations up. It's a predator. It needs a wide, flat area of the deep sea to emerge. Well, we did have some deep sea, so we'll go back to our chasm and we'll make that sea deeper. Um, but... A small fish that migrated from brackish waters to fresh water as the number of rivers on land begin to increase. It will emerge when more mid-level elevation of rivers appear. So it needs rivers. We have a lot of rivers. Maybe we'll work on expanding some rivers to see if we can get this fish to be born as well. And then I also want to see if we can maybe unlock a couple of these other like family bits. A... Uh, uh, Astrophis that migrated to shallow shallow waters in search of prey, it sucks Silo Medusa through its jawless mouth. <laughs> so we might be able to get some mutations of these guys birthed too. And then I do want to see if we can just continue to maybe get this guy to evolve, the trilobite. The emergencies that support seaweed. So maybe the key there is that we need to get this seaweed to really keep moving. Uh, let's see. It has all but replaced Colunia. Okay, so Colunia will actually end up being replaced by this guy. Appears in seas where algae blooms. 
And we need algae. I think we have algae blooms, actually. Do we have algae blooms? I think we have some algae blooms because I think the algae blooms are where you have green patches in the sea. Huh. Maybe I could try to evolve the trilobite. There's a trilobite right there. Shall we try trilobite by air? So try, or shall we go ahead and like try, you know, try, try or fail air? Oh dear. I was trying to make a pun there, but it was a little bit of a stretch. All right. Let's see. Where do I have a trilobite? Come here, buddy. Not you, friend. I want... Do I want to try to evolve a trilobite? Yeah, let's give it a trilobite. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna go ahead. And if I can just... Oh, he moved! Dang it, there he is again. Uh, seed of evolution or seed of mutation. Let's try a seed of mutation. We're gonna try trilobite the seed of mutation. Hey, come back here, friend. He moved. Okay, wait, seed of mutation. Wait, I don't think I'm on the trilobite now. Okay, wait, wait, wait for it. Ah, have to make the field smaller. Oh no, you moved and now I, my, okay. All right, wait, wait. Okay. Oh, 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 almost, almost. I have to make sure we're selecting the trilobite and not something else. All right, come on, come on. Okay, okay, we got him. I think we got him. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Oh, he moved again! This is tricky. This is tricky. Hold still, friend. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Okay, mutation! Go, 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 go! Phew! Okay, so we use the seed of mutation down! Oh, so use a seed of life or seed of evolution and it will appear on the cube. I love trying that, that mutation out. And then let's try a seed of evolution, actually on let's, let's 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 go ahead and use it on our seaweed and we will see what happens with the seaweed <laughs> oh no i'm having too much fun with this today all right and otherwise let's come over and make our deep sea and i'm just gonna keep going down how far okay we gotta go about that far to be able to make the deep sea so let me straighten out this. And the little coelacanth guy needs like a big flat section of deep sea, it said, to be able to emerge. So I'm gonna need to push all of these down. I wish I could do it a little tidier. This is what I get for having made just like, all right, fine, you know what? <laughs> No, wait, wait, wait. Remember, Siri, it said big flat section of the deep sea. Well, at least I can get some of this flat, like so. All right. Gentle. There we go. I remember when, like, I was so happy just to be able to, like, move one piece at a time. And now I'm like, why can't I just change the whole cube? All right, there we go. I think this should be a, a, a big enough section of big flat deep sea. I mean, if I was a coelacanth, I would be like, yes, this looks like the perfect home. It's literally occupied by nothing. Nothing will eat me. But we need to let it eat a lot of things. So hopefully other things will come and start populating this this side of the sea. We'll just have to be patient and wait and ha <laughs> see. All right. I have a lot of hit points right now for some reason. Yeah, let's move these down. And I guess we could go ahead and we could try to get some more river spots put together. Like, I wouldn't mind having a river area over here. Um, do I have any river sources? I do have another river source. When you create many rivers, it may appear on the cube. Okay, I need a lot of river sources, so that's going to be important. All right. So if that's going to happen, then let's do this, friends. Let's go ahead and let's actually make ourselves a cute little river right over here because it sounded like there were plants that show up next to the river. So I absolutely am gonna make this. And maybe, there we go. I feel like I've spread plenty of river. Here, we'll make it one higher just in case and we can have a waterfall going into the sea that way. Almost, almost. You have to use a delicate touch. Delicate. There. All right, let's add this river source right there. 
and right here. There. Oh, I'm finally starting to like get the hang of this. Whoops. Okay, did not mean to move that one, but that's fine. All right. There we go. And then actually, maybe I want to keep that river like up a little bit. And then let's do this. All right. Here, let's move this out of the way. There. Lovely. And... Oh, it's... Doing the detail work is really tricky. There, that's more what I wanted. Yeah, I think that there's actually grass and, like, the, this is algae on the rocks. Or maybe moss on the rocks. I would really love if it was moss. Because I do adore moss so much. Alright. And then you've got to move the river by... Not by diagonals. You have to, you have to move the river very carefully. Like so. There. There we go. And we'll see if having some river like this will actually help us out quite a bit with getting more of those special plants. Hmm. And I think we'll even tidy up this corner too. All right. Now I'm getting too into the details and we need to go ahead and let things evolve. But there right, we go. Ha ha! But I'm really proud about making this one. This is actually really nice. There, and we can come over to the other side and let the river cascade down here too. Yay! I'm proud of us, friends. I really hope that this spread some of the river and I wasn't just doing silly things. Yeah, look at that! Oh, that's pretty! That's really pretty! Yay! We're going to call that one a victory. And then we'll have it go straight out to C this way. Boom! I love it! That kind of detail work is definitely worth it. And we have a lot of waterfalls. Do you get a special animal if you have a ton of waterfalls? Like those cool birds that live in the Amazon who live behind this huge dam that they built that actually dams up the Amazon River. And the birds, or I think it's the waterfall... They don't live behind the dam, but they, they have historically lived behind this waterfall next to the dam. And they put their nest behind the waterfalls in order to protect them from predators. How cool is that? All right. And speaking of protecting from predators, let's see. <gasps> Whoa, we have something that's fragile. Fragile. No, stop, stop. No, it died. It died before I could get over there. Because I was letting time go too fast. No, my plant. I wanted to be able to... Oh, that's probably like a seed of evolution that died. Or the seed of mutation. Curses. Alright, so good news is we have healthy populations of the fish species going up, it seems. The Pikea are definitely like going wild for it. They're enjoying life. A lot of the other populations are just coming and going in a rush. Air temperature is around the 40s. Maybe we need to make it warmer? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. Which one is the, the little lepro whatnots? Okay, which one is that again? Oh, it's these guys. So do we need to make things warmer? Is that our problem? All right, let's check the tree of life real quick because we're going to see which one we're trying to work on. So we need, average temperature for these guys actually needs to stay, oh, maybe it's too hot, because the average temperature needs to stay like between 20 to 32 degrees Celsius. I think we're too hot, you guys. And then we need the water to be between 25 and 31 degrees Celsius. <gasps> I think we've made it too toasty. Uh-oh. Yeah, the water over here is in the 30s. So that might be our problem. And even the deep sea water is in the 30s. That's probably our problem. Yeah, we need 28 degrees Celsius. We need to cool things down. All right, well, we know how to do that at least. We'll go ahead and get more ocean and maybe deep ocean as a result. Oh, geez. All right, let's do this. There we go. Is this gonna help out having really deep ocean? Let's find out. I hope. I gotta keep I gotta keep it nice and flat for our friend. 
There we go. Oh, this does help to actually make really deep ocean. All right, really deep ocean. Come save us. We made things too hot. No, wait, I'm making things too hot. What am I doing? I'm making it hotter. The other direction, Siri, you absolute goose. I need more things. Ah, oh, you cool things down. Oh, no. No, no, no. Quick recovery. Oh, I have made things a little too toasty. It's a good thing we have some recovery leaves. No, no, up, 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 Siri. Oh, you goose. Okay, wait, you still need deep ocean for that other guy. However, let's come here. Na, 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 Yay, there we go. We also made a pillar of land that's way too tall. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's a little mess. It's a little mess. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we'll go ahead and use our other recovery leaf real quick. But that's okay, because we're having a good time. No, 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 up, 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 up. So this is actually going to be like the, the pillar of coolness, I suppose, <laughs> that we're creating right over here. All right, we need some real mountains in here. No more of these like silly little piddling mountains that I've been pretending with. Oh dear, you know what? We're just gonna leave that be for now. We need, we need some, no other way, other way, other way. All right, and let's actually, yeah, let's make like a big, big mountain cliff over here. It's time. We've made everything way too hot. All right. And then, even though it's very cube shaped, we will try to make this a little nicer as time goes on. All right. No, 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 we've got to use our recovery leaves. All right, now we're going to go down to 37 degrees Celsius, it seems. All right, let's keep, nope, up, 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 up. Keep trying to cool things down. So these are considered lowlands, actually. These are still considered lowlands? It doesn't feel very low. What's a highland then? Like, what's a mountain? How am I ever going to be able to have mountains if this is not a mountain? Okay, now this is an upland. Okay, so you have to get this high to get an upland. Wow! That's going to be a bit of a challenge. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to try growing. Okay, we'll try to get a few more arid lowlands over here. Ooh, that one makes, makes like a little canyon. I like that. Because we aren't really doing anything with this corner. And there, yes! Now more of the heat is going to end up being trapped inside. Oh, now we have cute little canyons. This is fun. Like having to figure out what you need to do in order to bring the seeds of life to fruition. And I definitely made it way too hot. <laughs> Important to note. All right, let's try moving. There we go. All right, so there's some cute little canyons there. We're also going to move maybe a few spots over here. You can't be very timid though. Oh, there we go, okay, good. But now I might make it too cold. Okay, well, we'll use up the last bit of the energy we have here, and then we'll go ahead and we'll see what the consequences of our actions are going to produce. Uh, there we go. This is, this is fun though. Just like diving in and, and doing, doing your best at being somewhat chaotic. All right, do I have enough energy to go any higher here? And that's it. All right, that's all we got, guys. Let's go ahead and see how that affects the air temperature, uh, the populations of different plants. It's still on the verge of extinction. <gasps> the coelacanth has arrived! Yes! Looks like it went well. I wonder what the birth of this life could mean. Just as plants migrated onto land, over time, animals will too. Marine life will first evolve to be able to live on land and be in wa and, and in water. This is believed to be the origin of amphibians. Check game info to find out the conditions on how to birth a, a new guy. Okay! 
So we've got a whole new objective now, friends, of being able to birth our very first land creature as the Coelacanthus. Oh, which looks so cute. We'll go capture that in a second. Flourish, this amphibian was the first to set foot on land. It's not quite adapted fully to land, so it can only emerge near the shore. So it needs to have a temperature of between 27 and 33 Celsius, and it needs to have really moist lands. I think we've got both of those things. Yes. So we just need to make sure the temperature is going to be good for it. All right, let's go ahead and do this, friends. Let's go see what's on our little cube. I still haven't given it a proper name. Our terrarium. Oh, it is like a terrarium, isn't it? Oh, we've got river sources, seeds of mutation. Yes, I love seeds of mutation. I totally want to use those seeds of mutation. Oh, look at all the flowers. Oh, this is so cool. We have changed so much today. Wow, my cube looks so different. So different. All right, where are you, little coelacanthus friend? Little coelacanth. Let's see. Is it? Is it? Is it really in like the deepest parts of this? Oh my gosh, it is! You guys, <laughs> it literally picked the deepest part of the deep sea to go in. <gasps> there we go, the coelacanth, which still exists to this day, by the way, one of the oldest of the, the species that haven't changed over time. I love it. This species of fish secured a habitat for itself by migrating to the deep sea. Oh, I'm so happy to have it. Oh, you guys. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and we need to see if we can start getting creatures onto land. Uh, also, we need to make sure that the land doesn't get too cold now that we added in all of these mountains. And we'll try going ahead and mutating a few species again because I would love, love, love to see what's ha what would happen if we mutated a few more species. This is so much fun. I love the new view that we have of everything that we've created too. Really, most of the best view seems to be like, like over here to really get a sense of how we had to add in mountains on land in order to get coelacanths in the deep sea. Isn't that such a fun contrast? But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today as we went ahead and we created life and mountains and pillars and silliness. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!